How long has he been in there? Exactly 10 minutes and 31 seconds. I have to admit, he's got guts. Looks like Danger Incorporated is going to have a new member. Not so fast, Nathan. Doug is going to stay in there for a whole hour. He's still got 48 minutes and 54 seconds to go. No one's ever made it past five minutes. He's probably in there taking a nap. Hey, give me some more seats. I just gave you a whole handful. I ate them. What was that? Time. He just told us. I'm not waiting out here a whole hour. Hey, what are you doing? You can't let him out. Let's admit it, Doug's not scared. No, no, no. Doug has to stay in there for the whole hour. If he makes it, then he's in. I hope he doesn't make it. I don't even like him. Neither do I. Well, I don't either. But if he makes it, we're stuck with him. I just want to look inside, see what he's doing. They never do. Good thing. Could you imagine if we had to let him into Danger Incorporated? Why do we have to let anybody in? Because we only have three members. Yeah, but there are only three Stooges. But that wasn't a corporation. A corporation should have a lot of members. I guess we have to look for another victim. Someone cool. And brave. Someone who won't freak out in an empty old house. Isn't there one brave kid in this stupid town? Besides us, of course. It touched my face. What do you think he meant? Oh, he probably just walked into a cobweb or something. What a chicken. <gasps> hey, where's my money? I had five dollars right here. Maybe it fell out when we were shoving Doug into the house. Yeah, it's probably up on the porch. I had to work hard to get that five bucks. Why don't you guys help me look for it? Oh, just go get it. Yeah, don't be a baby. Oh, great. Would you hurry up? I'm coming! Don't you want to explore it? Not really. <laughs> sure you do. Who knows? You might even meet some new friends here. Come on, just take a walk. And when you get back, I'll make you some lunch. Why don't you just drive me around? Chris. Will you make me a cheeseburger when I get back? OK. With bacon? Oh, always making deals. Come on, Mom, with bacon. OK, with bacon. Now go on. All right. See you, Mom. Hi. Hey, check it out. He's that new kid. Yeah, he probably doesn't have any friends. No friends. The perfect candidate for Danger Incorporated. I don't know. He doesn't look very brave. 
If you're in danger incorporated, you have to be brave. True. But if he's not, I'm sure we find scaring him. Hey. Your name's Chris, right? Yeah, Chris Wakely. I'm Lori, and this is Nathan and Robbie. Hi. Listen, you're new in town, right? Yeah, just moved in last week. So you're probably looking for some new friends, someone to hang out with. Sure, that'd be great. Do you want to join our organization? Danger Incorporated. We have room for one more member. Danger Incorporated? What is it? It's a club for brave people. Oh, well, I'm not very brave. You like horror movies, don't you? No, actually, I cover my eyes during the scary parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to be that brave. You just have to do one thing. What's that? Just one hour. If you can make it for one hour, you're in. They call it the house of no return. Why? Years ago, a young couple moved into town. A beautiful young woman and her husband. He built this house for her. Their dream house. A place to raise their child. But he made a mistake in the construction of the house. Their child broke through a weak spot in the floor. And fell to her death. The couple were so sad. They slowly went mad. Days, weeks, months went by, and the couple never came outside. One day, the police came. They entered the house. The couple were dead. Their bodies were taken away, and the house was sealed up. Days later, children from the neighborhood started to disappear. Some say they were kidnapped. Others say the ghosts of the couple took them. But it's probably just an empty old house. So go on in, Chris, and then you can be our new member. I don't think so. Come on, we'll be right out here. Have you done it? Uh, done what? Stayed in there for one hour. Well, no, but... but uh, well, we don't have to. You see, because uh, we started the organization. We already know we like danger. It's our middle name. Come on, man. We think you're a real cool guy. We want you in our club, huh, Robbie? You the man, Chris. That's great, but I don't think so. I'll see you guys later. Danger Incorporated is now in session. Is there any new business? You mean, there's no new business? This is the most boring meeting I've been in. What are you talking about? They're all boring. Well, we need a new member. <laughs> we haven't had a new member since you started this stupid organization. You know, that Chris has a lot of nerve turning us down. Yeah. He is kind of stuck up, isn't he? Yeah, new kid. I'm a chicken, la di da <laughs> Maybe we should teach him a lesson. Yeah. Lesson number one, how to be brave. Hello? Yes, hold on, please. Chris? For me? <laughs> Someone named Robbie. Hello? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Robbie? Yeah, it's this kid I met down the street. He's got two friends, Lori and Nathan. They want me to go hang out with them at the mall. Well, I'm glad you're making some new friends already. Yeah, maybe this place isn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> you see? I told you. All right, I'm gonna walk over to Robbie's. Chris? Yeah, well. They're nice kids. Yeah, they're all right. I don't think they're too smart, but they're okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. So is this a cool mall? Yeah, it's cool, all right. This way. This must be a shortcut, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you sure this is the way to the mall? Listen to this new kid in town, he's telling us. Really? Let's cross the street, all right? Why? That place freaks me out. Now! <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. 
Chris. All, all you gotta do is stay in there for a whole hour. Help me! Yeah, you can see how brave you are. You can be our newest member. We know you can do it. <sighs> Bye. Guys, let me out! <laughs> come on, guys, open up! It's not funny, come on, open up! I think it's funny. <laughs> you guys are real jerks, you know that? We'll let you out in one hour! I know, but... Come on, open up, please! 55 more minutes, and then we'll let you out. <laughs> and then you'll be a member of Danger Incorporated. Guys. All right, Chris. Calm down. Old houses make noises, that's just what old houses do. Do you think he's okay? Hmm. Stand here against this wall. That way, nothing can sneak up on me. I'm just gonna stand here. I think he gave up. He already stayed in there longer than anyone ever did. I guess he's going to be our new member. Hey, Chris has got a long time to go, all right? A long time. 45 more minutes. I just wanted to make sure you were awake. Real funny. What time is it anyway? Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go get him. 
All right, Chris, you made it. You're now a member of Danger Incorporated. Hey, Chris, open up. What's he doing? I don't know. Chris, open up. What should we do? Break the door down. Ready? On three. One, two, three. <clears throat> Again. One, two, three. <clears throat> Check this out. Why would Chris board up the door? Maybe he didn't. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Chris? Chris! Man, this is getting weird. He's probably playing a trick on us. Chris? Yo, Chris! Well, he's probably just hiding. He's probably behind that bookcase over there. He could have moved that by himself. Yeah. You go check it out. Uh, alone? I'll go with you. Hey, wait, wait. I'll come too. Well, he's not in here. If he's playing a trick on us. You mean like the one we played on him? Huh? Anymore. You got us good, Chris. Now come on. Uh, Robbie. What? What is it? That is too weird. What? Well, Chris probably did that while we were in the other room. I don't think so. Hello? Who said that? I did. Chris? Is that you? My wife. <gasps> what kind of a bar bargain was it? He promised that if we let him go, three children would take his place. Three for one <gasps> trade. Three children. And you know how much we love children. Now we <gasps> have three more. He promised you'd come, and here you are, right on schedule. Well, what are you going to do to us? Uh are you gonna let us go? Let you go? We can't let you go. We're a family now. We love you. And we're going to love you. Forever. Forever.